Okay, on this air conditioning on this 2010 Prius, I just hooked up. I see there's pressure in the system. We have 52 PSI. We're gonna give this a quick look over. And I already went through it with my eyes and no. So let's, um, if you follow all the way back to the lines on the firewall back there, and you just do your visual first before using your electronic leak detector and follow the lines the best you can until, you know, sometimes they go out of sight. Get down to the compressor when you can, which is not always easy. But on this one, it was really obvious when, oops, and I got the wrong flashlight. I'm using a black light instead of my flashlight. Okay, don't know where I put my flashlight. But we'll do it this way. Let's see if you could see it. Damn, no light. Oh, that was the light. Batteries went dead. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at all that oil right there at that thinning. So there's the dry part of the condenser. And as you come this way, you see it turn dark. And then where the oil was, it collects dust. So that one's leaking at the condenser. The fitting is dry around the fitting actually. Uh, well, that fitting's wet. But, um, yep, yeah, and I'll zero in on it with um, electronic leak detector and find out exactly where the spot is. But we'll start it up and we will look. Let's see, oh yeah, that's right. I always gotta show uh, if we could catch this. That's what's the sight glass look like because there's people who want to see the sight glass. So we'll indulge them. Let's see if we can see some refrigerant bubbling around or moving. No, nothing jiggling around in there. So let's go and start this thing up. I was looking for a uh, Testing for leaks under the dash. National news. The CDC's vaccine advisory panel approving the Pfizer shot for 12 to 15 year olds. If you're talking about it, we're talking about it. KGO 810. You're listening to the morning show with Nikki Majora on your radio and smart speaker. Okay. KGO 810. Let's turn that off. Down. Let's get that in fresh air mode. All right. Get some speed up there. And so let's see what we have. Negative eight, negative nine, negative 10. But wait a minute, isn't there a pressure switch on here? And, and don't the guys who read books and read papers say a pressure switch will protect your compressor from running when it's low? No. That's the answer to that. Only when severe case, and this is not even severe enough. So right now, this compressor is starving for oil and it's starving for cooling. So the temperature of the return line, as you can see, we have a superheat, a superheat of 93. And you can see the suction line temperature is 68 degrees. And yeah, that tells all right there. Our sub, our uh, superheat, our subcooling, 4.6. Our high side pressure, 57. So this is severely slow with uh, low with refrigerant. And when we look for the guys who like to look at bubbles, there should be bubbles in this one. This is severely low. Actually, it's almost it's almost all bubbles. It's almost all vapor refrigerant. There's only a little bit of liquid refrigerant in that system a small amount so that's like 90% air vapor and 10% liquid flashing inside that side glass right there so that would be a good indicator that you are low in this extreme situation I wonder what our uh, temperature out our dash is let's see let me connect up to my field piece gauges that are in the dash because I can connect up with my field piece gauges because they're not Testos who don't work with older iPhone and older Android tablets. Yeah, for my Testos, 
my new ones because I gotta go spend twelve hundred dollars on a phone to use my new Testos and another four hundred dollars I spent on a new iPad to work with my new Testo instruments. Come on. Uh, a little Bluetooth would help. Get the Bluetooth up. Dismiss. So we got 69 degrees coming out of the dash. But our ambient air temperature, look at our ambient air temperature. It's 55 degrees out here. This is where it's taking the temperature. And it's 55 degrees. And we got 69 degrees coming out of the dash. And why do we have 69 degrees? Because of the hot air temperature here off the fan is getting sucked in right into here. And there's no cooling being provided by the evaporator under the dash. So blowing in your face out of the dash, it's 70 degrees because of this air temperature right here. Or 69 degrees. And the air temperature right here, see this? See this one right here? This is the air temperature right here, 77 degrees. So at this point, we have 55 degree air going into the condenser and the radiator. Then it goes through the fans, over the engine, and it's coming in, it's getting sucked down right here. And at this point right here, it's 78 degrees. And it's mixing with a little colder air over here and a little colder air maybe over there. And so what comes out of the dash is 69 degrees plus a minute amount of cooling that's being provided by the evaporator. All right, catch you guys on the last one. Let's see if I can pinpoint this leak.